so Demon Slayer has found its way into Yu-Gi-Oh lore. Well, 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 34% of you that have not smashed, just, just smash it already, all right? So we are talking about the first purchase of the year here, and I have an interesting little piece of tidbit that I'm starting to see a lot of OCG Twitter start to talk about. So first purchase of the year here. Um, do keep in mind that this is actually updated goblin lore here, which is kind of interesting in and of itself. Now we just need a happy goblin family on a card and we'll be getting somewhere here. So this is the first purchase of the year. So it's a normal trap card. Excavate the top five cards of your opponent's deck. And if you do, choose one of them and declare a multiple of uh, life points of 100 to max 3,000. Your opponent can gain that amount of life points, and if they do, you lose that many life points. And if you do, add the chosen card to your hand and place the rest on the bottom of the deck in any order. So here's the thing. You top check five from your opponent's deck, and then you go, hey, I'll give you 3,000 life points, and I'll take 3,000 life points. So a deficit of 6,000 life points here in order to let me add this card from the top of your deck to my hand. Now, in pretty much every situation, your opponent's probably going to say no. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to stick all those cards back in the bottom of their deck, and you're going to do nothing. All right, that's it. Now, notes for this, and I'll explain some of the lore here in a second. So children in East and South Asia typically get money as a gift on New Year's from family members, and they'll use it to buy stuff on the holidays after the holidays are done and everyone so open up. Now, let's explore the lore here. Now, there's a particular scene here um, with this little goblin girl acquiring this sword. Well, as you'll notice here, it looks like that this is one of the Shirinui monsters. Um, I guess this is her sword or something like that, and she's been sealed in it. But uh, the reference I've been seeing here from people is, this is actually just Tanjiro's sword from Demon Slayer here. Now, I don't see much of a comparison in terms of the two, but it is interesting to see that this is the conclusion that people are drawing from these particular um, two. I, I think it's a little bit wild to say, but to be honest with you, um, poor little Shirinui girl got her sword stolen with her sealed in it. So um, <laughs> that's, uh, that's something to really be had in terms of your lore now. Now the Goblin family is now involved directly with the Shirinui monsters. Think about that for a little bit. I, uh, I'm definitely curious to see how that's going to work. But yeah, that's the tie-in that I'm seeing people talk about. Spirit Master, or, uh, <laughs> one of the sword mistresses has gotten her sword stolen. It's rough out here, but the Goblin family's happy, so it's all that matters. Please, leave a comment down below what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Uh. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.